At Europe's spaceport, Vega is being prepared for its third flight. This will be a commercial flight operated by Ariane Space to launch the first Earth observation satellite of Kazakhstan. After its qualification in February 2012, ESA had planned four promotional missions to introduce Vega to the satellite market. The so-called Verta Flights, or Vega Research and Technology Accompaniment Program, aiming at demonstrating the flexibility of the Vega launch system. But customers didn't wait. After two flights we already have a commercial flight, which is really a, a special thing and a, and a real, let me say, demonstration of uh, the already existing uh, confidence in this very new uh, launcher system of ESA. Vega is designed to cope with a wide range of missions in order to respond to different market opportunities and provide great flexibility. It's able to place multiple payloads into orbit from one satellite of one and a half tons to a main satellite with several microsatellites. This was clearly illustrated by the missions in 2012 and 2013. Vega will soon be upgraded for more capacity in 2017. The small launcher is now fully complementing the big Ariane 5 and the middleweight Europeanized Soyuz. Vega in that sense is a real member of the European family for uh, launches because we are working on Vega to upgrade it. But it's not the only thing we are doing. We're also preparing an upgrade of Ariane 5 ME in an adapted version to make the commonality with also what we are working on is the new launch system, Ariane 6. So Ariane 5 ME uh, is the plan for uh, 2018, around that year, to have an upgraded version of that. And then we are working on Ariane 6, which is a complete new launch system, using the elements of Ariane 5 but being better in a better position to respond to the requirements of the commercial market and the institutional market to deliver launch services against more competitive costs. At the ministerial conference in Luxembourg next December, ESA member states will take key decisions, in particular for the future of its launches. One objective has always been fundamental since ESA came into being, independent access to space. In Europe, we want to have independent access to space. This is one of our strategic objectives. For that we need to have a launching system, but if we don't develop the launching system, taking into account the fierce competition in the future, we will lose that uh, strategic objective. So it's the only way to go to develop further our launch system, to make it more competitive, to be able to have this strategic objective fulfilled. Nowadays Europe can launch almost any satellite onto any orbit from Kourou. This needs to be maintained by improving the existing systems and developing new ones, a constant program of evolution.